My name's Molly Horton with Shock Sport and here's your roundup for this week's top sports stories. The Women's Super League kicked off on full stream on Friday, with Chelsea taking the victory over Aston Villa 1-0. This continues into the weekend with draws in both Liverpool vs Leicester, as well as Man City vs Arsenal. Brighton and Tottenham took confident 4-0 leads over Everton and Crystal Palace, whilst Man United were also victorious with a 3-0 win over West Ham. This week also saw a new three-year deal between the Women's Super League and Barclays to remain the title sponsors of both the Women's Super League and the Championship. The deal is expected to be in the region of £15 million a year, making the three-year contract worth £45 million. And now on to the Premier League. Manchester United men were held 0-0 against Crystal Palace at Selhurst Park, whereas Manchester City men went toe-to-toe -to -toe with title rivals Arsenal, with the game ending 2-2 and Gunnar Trossard controversially being sent off. And now on to Rugby League. The Women's Super League Grand Final kicks off this week with St Helens versus York. York are the defending champions and are looking to do it again this year. But can St Helens take the win? The game kicks off at the Totally Wicked Stadium on Sunday the 6th of October and we will see whether York can become the first team to defend the title or whether Saints can achieve a league and a cup double. And now on to cricket. England are down 2-0 in the ODI campaign against Australia. Mitchell Stark's bowling attack saw the English side crumble as wickets kept tumbling. He took early wickets off Will Jacks after just one ball, Harry Brook, 4-9, and Liam Livingstone after just one ball, giving Australia a confident lead to take the game. And finally, on to the boxing. Anthony Joshua fought Daniel Dubois on Saturday night. The 27-year-old's victory means he retains the IBF heavyweight title and leaves Joshua's career in question after such a strong knockout in only the closing seconds of the first round. Dubois screamed, are you not entertained, proclaiming himself a warrior to the bitter end, but the same could not be said for Joshua, who never seemed to get over that knockout and the fight to survive. And that's all for today. I'm Molly Horton and that was your Shock Sports Weekly Roundup.